started actually the first job we started was doing a video for deaf children for UNICEF. Uh, uh, previously, I've actually been working for years in the in the advertising and also in the uh, production industry. And uh, um, the reason for actually starting the company was that I was more interested in doing content because I believe in the idea of media to change, using media to change because through media you can actually reach out to a much wider audience. A lot of things that we can do through media um, and one of it is creating good content and therefore one of our, our mission is actually to inspire change through innovative content. I was very involved personally in a lot of NGO work um, and therefore um, one of my interests is actually has always been uh, working in marginalised communities. And when we talk about marginalised communities, we also talk a lot about um, <clears throat> uh, young, the young people because it has to do a lot of education. And hence, uh, one of the conscious effort that we do as a production company uh, is, is to actually work on content that we feel has some sort of social content in there that can reach out to younger people. What we do is we do production. And the whole, uh, you know, production is, a lot of people say it's a very young thing. And it is. I mean, only in the last uh, five, six years have uh, people started, you know, running around with cameras, and and everybody can do can do filming nowadays, you know. And you look at it, it is an industry which attracts young people. When we started the company, we also knew that uh, there are a lot of young people who want to do things out there, and they want to make a difference. They want to make changes. But at the same time, they need to be equipped with the skills to do it. And of course, when they come in and they say, like, "I've done my little video," but yes, okay. Uh, those are what you call hard skills. You know how to switch on the camera, you know how to do the lighting, but do you know what goes on behind structuring a good program, for instance? You know, what's the thought process that goes into it? What we've done is we hire a lot of fresh graduates and uh, what, from there we train them. And our staff has been with us for the past six, seven years. Some of my staff, like Joanna, she came straight out of university from KDU, I think, and then we train her as a junior assistant. She's now an executive producer with us. And uh, yeah, she understands the issues. She knows uh, what, what, how, how to manage people, how to, uh, how to manage certain issues. And it's all about that development and maturity. You know, when you come up from, from university to the time where you're ready to take on clients, you're ready to, to, to handle the whole project yourself, it, you need that maturity uh, process. Though. When, when I look at, in terms of as a company, as a staff that we, we, we have developed, I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of my staff that who have come a long way. In terms of working for young people, I mean, like we look at the initiative, of course, because we do media and because we, 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 we talk about issues for young people, I have seen that, that impact that we have done with media. Um, and, and, and we have feedback because we have a website, triar.com.my, and um, it's interesting to see how much feedback we get after every topic. We get about 100 uh, 100 to 150 emails a day when our show's on air, you know, um, and we get letters, we get about close to 150 mails, snail mails, and we get people who write in and say, oh, for instance, I just watched that topic about, um, un, you know, uh, about morality, we did an episode about morality, and uh, and the girl in the, the story, she was pregnant and, you know, she, she everybody in the village was really uh, like unfair to her and they were saying all these things and in uh, actually it happened to us too because in our, our kampong there was this girl she you know got pregnant and we were all really mean to her but we realized that oh there's more to it and uh, things get better and we, we, we now begin to be a bit better nicer to her we have letters like that and these are real letters real stories we have letters that people wrote in and said um, I watched the episode on on the self-esteem and then I saw that girl who was really big size and she's running around and I didn't think that I could do that and now and I thought oh that girl can do it I could do it too and well, we, we do have letters and one of the things we know that it, it it kind of propels us to do what we do because we get that kind of feedback I mean the whole team it's not just me it's just that the whole team feels that way we feel it gives us meaning to the work that we do because we do get that kind of feedback, we do get that kind of response which is so positive and you, you read the stuff that they, they, they write to us, you realise that because when you work as media, you work in isolation, okay, you do your work and then it goes out on air but when you, you realise that people actually watch it and they, it, they do make an impact in their lives, that's when you know okay, the work you're doing is good, it is on the right track and it's affecting 
people out there, especially the young people. On a personal level, for me, I've always been involved in uh, social issues. Like say, I've uh, I've been doing work, HIV AIDS work, um, um, since for the last ten years already, more than ten years actually, uh, since 1995. That is one of my motivations uh, because I've always been involved in social work. I've always been involved in marginalised communities, working with. Uh, when I say marginalised community, is from drug users, sex workers. Um, um, HIV positive people, you know, and, and women, children. Um, you actually see a bigger picture. You see, you see a bigger social economic structure. You see, you see how things uh, are done. That's why I think media is really important to actually get your messages across. Um, and as a, as someone who's very involved in doing this kind of social work, I see media as my contribution, uh, as as a gift that I can use it. To, to put the messages that I want across, to put the issues across, you know. And these are issues sometimes young people don't think about because it doesn't affect them. Uh, of course, you watch a teen drama, you're not gonna, if you watch a teen drama, it's gonna be about love, it's gonna be about, you know. Uh, of course, it has to be there, love, family, that has to be in there. But there's, of course, a, a larger social issue. And, and my interest has always been about that, about uh, a larger social issue. How I, I always believe that, um, young people should step out of their box. You know, we all live in a little box sometimes, and we don't, we don't, we don't interact. Uh, we don't even know. For instance, uh, you you get someone in Bangsa who doesn't even know anybody who lives in Stapa. They don't even know where Stapa is. For instance, you know, it's it's just because they live in a little box. But through media and of course now through the internet, you you allow people to see another world, and hopefully another world besides America because media is so. All you see a lot of young people now. All they see is American stuff, you know, and they know American culture a lot more than they know their own culture. The the idea is to bring back people, young people, especially the urban kids, to see to to see their own country and look at what they have and to to look at the variety of people that they have. It drives me to do what I do, yeah, to be able to 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 know that whatever creative content that you create will will be seen by people and we'll be able to touch them and make them think in some ways.